Do you want to use Facebook groups to build your business? Well, hold up a second <laughs> because I want to share with you some few little tips today on how to add people to groups without pissing them off. Hey there, I'm Tracy from TracyRose.com and I want to spare you the pain of people getting angry at you and people defriending you because you are adding them to random groups they didn't ask to be added to. It's really annoying. I'm going to go as far as saying it actually deters people. It repels people away from you when you start adding them to random groups so you, where you want to sell them shit and they just get annoyed because you didn't tell them you were adding them to a group or you took over a day or two to tell them that you had actually added them to a group with four 400 other people. It's just not cool. I'm not talking about the community groups that you actually might be interested in. I'm really talking about people who particularly are in network marketing companies and they want to do a VIP launch party for their product, whether it's nails or whether it's makeup or whether it's skincare or whatever your product is. I'm talking about those people because this is where it annoys people. Now, can you add people to groups? Of course you can. It's a great way to promote your business, but let's do it in the right way. So I get added to groups constantly. Now, the thing is, I don't talk to these people very often, and yet now I find myself in this group with three or 400 other people, and I'm like, where, where am I? Like, who, what, what is this group? Who are all these people? What are these posts? pitching me like sell this lash stuff sell this nail stuff sell this ah oh, get away from me there is literally only one person who asked if it was okay that they'd added me to a group it's my friend julie i love her she sells beautiful makeup and as a result we developed a relationship now we were friends just through Facebook, we met up, we connected, and she added me to this group. But you know what she did when she added me? She sent me a Facebook message. Let me read you some of it. So Julie writes, Hey Tracy, how are you? I know you already know I'm crazy about my unique business and I'm having a launch party. Now here's the most important thing. Towards the top of the message she says, and I'm, I'm quoting here, Please feel free to leave the group if you think it isn't for you. I will not be offended. Smiley face. Yay, Julie. So automatically I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I can leave if I want to. She won't be offended. But actually, it kind of made me want to stay. The next bit, I really love her attitude. She says, but by attending the party, I guarantee you'll have fun with me and often laugh at me. So she's not afraid to make fun of herself in her cool little videos that she was posting about her unique makeup. She then goes on, but I have to warn you, there is a significant risk of addiction to these products. And it gives me a list of why I might like these products. It's kind of really cute. There's been studies on when you tell someone you want to do something, if you give them a reason why, they're more likely to actually do what you want. And then she just signs off in a really cool way. It was not salesy, it didn't feel pitchy, but I almost felt like it was a nice invitation. Like, if you invite people to a party, do you just like gather everyone and like shove them into your house? No, it's kind of the same with a Facebook group. If it's a Facebook party, you invite them. Am I being clear enough? It's simple. Send people a message. Say you're joining them to the group. Ask them if it's okay. Tell them, please feel free to leave. I just thought you'd be interested in this. Social media is about being social and friendly. And when you become friends with people and they know, like, and trust you, they are more likely to what? Buy from you. So don't be that salesy, annoying, spamming friend. I hope this video has helped you. If you know someone who is doing this, please send them this video. Let's share how to do it in a cool, non-spammy way, okay? And if you want to know more about attracting your ideal client online using social media, head over to my website, tracyrose.com, and I'll see you over there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!